Um, I'm just trying to get this set up a little bit so I can actually do what I wanted to do. Um, I am doing this through my wolf, my uh, cell phone, so I don't know how clean it is or how crisp it is or how anything is. I didn't want to have to, I didn't, I wasn't trying to set up my DSLR or anything. I didn't want to try to do some big like, oh, I'm going to sit in a chair, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to do this. Uh, I needed to actually do this on the spot because I don't want to script this. Because this is more something for me. There's no, there's no reason to script this. So, right now, I am streaming this as a way for me to rant about something for my own self. Uh, and talk to my, basically this is so I can go back on this later today, watch it, and actually give a chance of more thought than what I have been giving this thought to. I'll get to what I'm talking about in just a moment here. I want to see how good the stream is running. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's good enough. I can see myself. I mean, I guess that's good enough. See myself. Yeah. Yeah. That's a massive delay. All right. Uh, so, it does seem to be running well. I can see it from here. I'm going to be looking at um, whatever I need to be looking at. So... I wanted to make this talk about my own mental problems recently and quite a bit lately, especially from what my roommates have been pointing out to me and what I have noticed and what I have to actually take care of. So I wanted to say this on camera so it is in recording so I can hold myself to some kind of word even though I've done this kind of thing before and seem to have not stuck with it. So I'm going to start off with what I've been thinking about in the short term. So. This all kind of goes into a story, not really a story, but something I've just put a lot of thought into. I keep repeating myself, gotta stop repeating myself. Gotta work on that. Every year, my parents, my mom and my stepdad or my mom, my dad, whoever is I'm spending Christmas with that year, uh, asks for a Christmas list. And now every parent asks for the same thing, or every grandparent, every aunt and uncle, they wanna know what you want for Christmas. What do I wanna get for people for Christmas? What do I want to get for Christmas from other people? Um, and it always has never, never really been a problem for me. I, I've always been interested in getting new things. I've always been interested in something new every year. Sometimes I go back to old things that I want to be interested in. So like last year I was really interested in puzzles and every year I get a book or two that I can read. I love reading books. I have honestly slowed down on reading more than I should have. I haven't read a book in a while and I really need to. I'm actually... Uh, away from that, but every year, a uh, Christmas list. I always make a Christmas list. Things that I want, things that I need, and things that I would wish I could have. Uh, which I guess goes into the want territory. Um, and it's never been a problem. I've always found interest in new things, whether it's magic, puzzles, a new book or movie series, a new game. Like when I was really into five, when I was bigger into Five Nights at Freddy's than I still am, clearly. Um, I asked for one year just everything that's Five Nights at Freddy's. It's, I love it. It's an amazing story. It's, it's awesome. I love it. That's all I want. And that's... I don't want to ask for stuff like that anymore that I'm just going to hang on the walls or just, like, just sit there for decoration. Like, that's pointless. I need something I can actually get my hands on to. So I would ask for things also. Like, in the past, I've asked for lanyard supplies. Make those little plastic lanyards that were cool in elementary and middle school. Like, I loved making those. They were cool. You melt them together to fan with a, like, a heat source and they stay forever. Make them into a chain, blah, blah, blah. Make all kinds of cool designs. But I, this year, was asked, what do I want for Christmas? And that sounds like a simple question with a really simple answer. I just want whatever I'm interested in. Tell them that. And I think anyone who's watching this knows that I don't know what I'm interested in. And it doesn't just boil it down to that. It's the fact that I'm not really interested in anything. All I do anymore is sit on, sit on my butt and just watch YouTube videos or watch movies or listen to music. And the music part I can get around because music, I could be doing something else and listening to music. I'll sit down with a deck of cards, listen to music or a podcast. 
and just learn something new. But even then, I've gotten away from that. I haven't done that in a long time. I've been very ignorant. Ignorant? I think ignorance the word. And that's just one thing I need to work on is finding new hobbies. And I can't, I don't know what I want to do. I would love, 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 love to have the ability to have a vehicle and go travel all over California exploring abandoned places. That would be a dream of mine to go exploring abandoned places. But for one, still need to get my driver's license, which I'm supposed to apply for next year when I come back from Christmas break. Um, which I am dead set on getting my license. Even if I, I get I get scared on the roads, but it would still be something that's extremely useful if I'm working, something extremely useful if I'm gonna travel home instead of getting public transportation, uh, all, all kinds of things. And I've just not done that. I still have no job. I'm still trying to get hired places. I had an interview with Chipotle a couple weeks ago and it kinda, it went well, but I never got a call back and when I called, no one was, no manager was there every time I called. It was, I guess they went on vacation and I just didn't, they didn't tell me when I was there that they would have been going on vacation. Um, which that's, I should have inquired about that. That's not even, that's no manager's fault. That's not anyone who works there's fault. That's my own fault for not getting the information that I should have asked for. Like, hey, are you going to be here this day if I call in uh, and can talk to anyone else that I talked to? And I just didn't do that. So when I come back, I'm going to apply some more jobs, try to get, uh, my dream job would be to do something with cameras for a living. I don't, I don't do much on YouTube as it is. I don't have the drive. I've gone through a really, I don't want to say depression, but it could be about of just slow. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to have to deal with any kind of things that I don't want to do. Every week, my weekends are the same. Sunday, I do my laundry. I have laundry in the dryer right now. I'm waiting for that to be done while I'm doing this. And I was outside, I was listening to a podcast, walking around, like I said at the beginning, if I did say at the beginning, just thinking about all this stuff, like, why am I not interested in anything new? I want to try so many new things, but I don't have the ability to because I'm stuck here. And I've had people tell me, well, get through the program faster, get through the program faster. I don't want to be done with the, this program as fast as people want me to be until I can get a job and start saving up money. And then once I have a place to live out here in the Bay Area, if I can get a place out here to live in the Bay Area, I want to work for a bigger company doing something that's just basic hard labor. If it was just being a janitor at a big company like Google that's out here, I'd be 100% down for that. I don't have to work for the tech or anything. I would just love to say that, hey, I work at Google, even if it's just taking care of the campus. Because I want to do something like that because it's the little things that people don't realize that people do a lot of work in. And a lot of, they put a lot of labor and they keep, they're the ones who keep this place gives it the ability to run the way it does by keeping it just clean. Say if you went to a warehouse and there was just boxes everywhere, not on the shelves, just strewn in the path of everything. There's no hard labors or anything. It's just three dudes, three, three men, women, just working, working their butts off to keep this place running, but they can't do it because they don't have anyone to keep it up to date and clean and organized. That's what most companies have and need. That's what I want to do even if it's working for a small company. As long as I have the ability to live where I want, still have some free time to actually start working on the dream that I have, which is to start doing stuff with cameras, start just living my life, start exploring new things, doing fun stuff with friends. I would love to make a video where I went and made Dragon's Beard Candy. I've talked to my mom about this before. I said, hey, let's just, while I'm here, let's try making Dragon's Beard Candy. We didn't have the ability to at the time because we needed sugar, corn syrup, vanilla, we need it. It takes time. It takes a lot of stuff. It takes a lot of energy and it's extremely messy. And I was only there on a really busy week, a week where we were going to see family, friends for Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, just after Halloween. And during Halloween, we had all this set up, all this fun. We were just having fun. We didn't, I didn't need to do that. And I, I glad that I didn't do that. But at the same time, I'm still in a place where I don't have anything to do. I would love to do Gaming videos, as much as I rant that, hey, uh, gaming, YouTube gaming is much harder than it looks because people have to sit down, do their editing, they have to be funny, entertaining, they have to think about their personality and what people see into them makes them enjoy what they're seeing. I, I, it's all corporated, incorporated, corporated. YouTube has become a corporate company, so it's hard for me to do that. Now I can go to, I'm looking for other options to do my, what I want to do 
hobby wise. I would love to go to just a junior a junior college or a, a, a public college. I don't remember the word that I'm looking for right now, and just get a basic couple degrees in camera work, editing, some just interesting stuff. I I love working in Photoshop. I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. It's fun being able to manipulate things, photos, and create something new out of it. I love working with cameras because you can catch a, capture a moment on video or in a picture that says so many things that words could not. Say if I took a, I, I, there's so many things you can capture on camera that you can't capture in person, which is why I'm like, I need to, whenever I see a YouTube video with people skydiving, it's like, I'm not getting the full effect of the skydiving element here because I'm not feeling anything. I'm just seeing people falling. I don't, I don't know the joy they're going through. I can, I can feel the emotion that they're having, but in a second. Me. Anyways, I'm going to end this here. I'll come back to it later when I feel like I can actually think a little straighter than I currently am.